It's all part of an effort to help people transition to a life off the streets. Mike McDaniel explains what's happening. In areas like underneath the West Bank Expressway here in Jefferson Parish, it's not uncommon to find folks who are experiencing homelessness or who are simply in need. Parish leaders say it's creating a problem. It's affecting our quality of life. You know, since the pandemic, the number of homeless people on our streets has increased substantially. We, we estimate around 400 people. To better help those people, the Jefferson Parish Council established a task force Wednesday to identify needed services and how to connect people to them. And right now, you, there are provided services at different locations. You need to have one place where somebody is taking that person from step one, step two, all the way down the road to they return to work and hopefully back to society. With about $3.6 million coming from opioid lawsuit settlements, Councilman Dino Bonanno says the money must be used to treat addiction and its ripple effects. Homelessness, lack of medical treatment, lack of a job. So it's all built into one model. Bonanno points to services for mental health and housing as other needs. The 20 member task force will help find solutions for. There's a lot of different things that, that need to be done. Martha Cagle with Unity of Greater New Orleans says a rise in homelessness over the last year stems from two major factors. One is that the pandemic resources specifically to address homelessness have run out, uh, but the other one is that rents are soaring. The nonprofit coordinates housing and services for people experiencing homelessness in Jefferson and Orleans parishes. Cagle says a Jefferson Parish specific task force is a good move. This is the problem that we face. But there are solutions to it, and the good news is that those solutions are actually cost effective. Solutions this task force will work to figure out. It's an issue we got to address. You just can't wave a wand and make it go away. In addition to the task force, the parish broke ground last month on a $1.3 million state funded project, which will redesign this area under the expressway. It's meant to deter people from setting up here. In Jefferson Parish, Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News.